Welcome to the world debut and first off-road drive of the first ever 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2 Bison. Yes, this is the Bison. Used to be you only had the Chevy Colorado Bison and now we have three of them, including the heavy duty truck. But of course we haven't driven the heavy duty yet. It's now time to see what this new half ton full size off-road truck from GM is able to do. This is really their, I would call it ultimate overland truck. Why is it not a desert racer? Well, it can do fast speed running, of course, but it has a slightly smaller tire than some other trucks, like Raptors and TRXs. It's a 33 inch tall tire, but it has a lot of protection and lockers front and rear. Raptor doesn't have front and rear lockers, neither does the TRX. So in my mind, this is a little bit more of a slow speed crawler and I'm taking it up ironclads with three serious obstacles. The first one is the steps. The second one is razor rocks and also there is true for there. Normally, I would be nervous approaching the steps because I would be really scared about either, I don't know, touching a bumper or a chin spoiler. There's no issue right now. This truck uh, has 11.2 inches of ground clearance, really good 32.8 degrees of approach, and really great traction too. I didn't air down, probably I should have. If this was a longer journey off-road, I definitely would air down. But the first obstacle, no problems. Hey Alex, that was no big deal. No, that uh, you had tons of clearance down there. There was uh, no I, touching at all. Wasn't worried for a second. I'm a little worried here. Looks like every time I come up here, it gets a little more rutted out and a little deeper and looks a little sketchier. Well, because it's a new season, right? It's just the snow just melted. Mm -hmm. I haven't been here in about four months. Last time I was here, there was two feet of snow. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lock my all my lockers. Probably smart. Because I can. I want to crawl over it. But I also want to show articulation. Were you fully unlocked coming up that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you started to slip for a second, and even still, not locked up, it pulled right up. Yeah, these tires are great. When you're buying a Bison, this is really what you're getting: stamped steel bumpers, winch capable in the front, giant frame attached recovery points. Uh, of course, fog lamps, a place to put your foot if you're climbing up and working maybe on something higher up above your truck. And of course, about 33 degrees of approach angle up here. Let me show you what else you're getting with the Bison. This is the other part. <laughs> yes, hot stamped boron steel, five additional skid plates, and it's protecting everything in the front, the fuel tank, and even the rear differential is protected by its own skid plate. Of course, all new Silverado 1500 ZR2s come equipped with DSSV Multimatic shocks, spool valves. Uh, they're not adjustable, they're set once. Um, and on this rocky trail, I'm gonna see how they work. Also, the Bison has a slightly larger tire than the standard ZR2. This is a 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT and AEV provides their own wheel design. But I wish this tire was still bigger. <laughs> These days, there's no tire big enough. And I'm gonna select for low. There it is, that's pretty easy. And also this truck, of course, has rear and front lockers, which I'll be playing with today. And also drive modes, anything from off-road to terrain. Terrain is kind of one pedal off-road driving. Um, so maybe I'll go to off-road first. GM of course has many different views. This truck still doesn't have an underbody camera like the Hummer EV or like the new Chevy Colorado ZR2, but still there's plenty of different views. This is one of my favorite where I can see the front tires and it's a little bit more high resolution view rather than looking at the rear tires. Um, so I'll be keeping this view. As of right now, the only powertrain available in the ZR2 Bison 1500 truck is a 6.2 liter big V8 with a 10 speed automatic. Next year in 2024 model year, they're also introducing the three liter turbo diesel to the ZR2 lineup, which everybody I think asked for. So if you want more range, because this fuel tank is only about 24 gallons, uh, 
you should wait a little bit and get the diesel one. So of course, front independent suspension, rear solid axle. My shocks are kind of inboard of my frame in the back. So clearance on the shocks might be a small problem. I'm in four low. How's my nose? You're good, your front, your passenger tire is about to come up. So really good clearances. There's of course our, my favorite, um, unfavorite tree. Your tire's off the ground back there. Usually I am always afraid of running into this tree. How's my rear tire? You're like a foot in the air in the rear. I still feel comfortable. It's about 15 degrees side tilt. Nice. And I'm picking a super difficult line going super slowly. I don't think in any other truck I would be sweating. I would be, ooh. You're on your, uh, your diff skid plate. Well, that's why it's there. <laughs> Boron steel is hot stamped. It's about three millimeters thick. It's relatively lightweight compared to other skid plates but it also has almost memory. So if it does get dented, it has a tendency to pop back into its original shape, which is amazing. Oh, we have a, we have a dirt us. bike. He's not taking my difficult line. No, he's going on the easy side. Alex, we've done how many of these ironclad rounds? Lots. Tons of them. I think this was the simplest climb I've ever yeah, done. Yeah, I mean, most of the time we're worried about that tree. This was just straightforward. I was able to pick my line. I took a slightly more challenging climb. I still had the clearance. I touched one skid plate. No problems. Yeah. Well, let's climb further. Cool. I don't know what this stuff is doing here, but it shouldn't be in the middle of the trail. Same with this beer can, so. Andre is going to come. Luckily, we have a truck bed to throw all this crap in. Third obstacle, we call it true for dare. It's basically a steep, loose, rocky climb. I'm going to select my terrain mode, which is kind of my one pedal driving mode. It will do hill hold for me. So all I have to do is apply accelerator. I'm actually not myself touching the brake pedal almost at all in this mode. Climbing a little bit more. Is there some trash here? Yeah. Oh. So this, oh my God. Woo. Those are nasty. Alex, I was gonna say, this is a good time to talk about payload. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's taking up about half of it right now. Well, because this truck is amazing, except it doesn't have amazing payload. Oh, in fact, Oh, sorry, dude. In fact, it has really bad payload. Two rugs, a beer can, a trash can lid. Okay, what else are we gonna find? I don't know. Oof. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, those rocks look nasty. It's a good thing I have rock sliders. I don't wanna puncture a tire quite yet or ever. Wow, those rocks got pokey. I tried to put my wheel on one of them. So I'm using only my rear locker at this time. The other rock seems to be a little bit too big. I'm gonna try to sidestep it. You got a big boulder on your left. I see him. I don't want to scratch anything or damage anything. Actually, the cameras are helping out. That's nice. Okay, let me put the tire over here. Try to monitor what I'm doing. And that was the harder part of that climb. But now I really want to test my break over angle because that's usually 
the Achilles heel of a full-size truck with a long wheelbase. I tried to take it diagonally so I'm not hitting it right on my belly. Okay. Let's see if I have enough clearance. I do. This is amazing. If this was any other stock truck, I would be dragging belly. Well, maybe not in the Raptor R with its Quran clearance, but yeah. I remember like in a Tundra TRD off-road, several other vehicles, including a Nissan and I think a Ford Tremor. I dragged my belly over that. Yeah. I didn't drag my belly here. No, you had tons of clearance. And you got sliders and skid plates, even <laughs> if you did. Wouldn't have mattered. Well, it's official. The Ironclad Trail is too easy for the new ZR2 Bison Silverado 1500. But I still dislike three things about this truck. First, payload. A thousand pounds of payload in this truck, even though that it does have an optional tonneau cover. It's just a, not enough, in my opinion. Yes, if it was two of you, and maybe you put a lightweight uh, camper solution on the back, uh, it might be just fine, but if you're bringing five people with you and even more stuff, that may not work for you. Also, I wish it had a slightly bigger, wider stance. I mean, it's great as it is, but it, I think it needs that macho stance because it's currently at the top of the Chevrolet off-road truck lineup. And finally, it's the price. This one with options, it's almost $85,000. It starts at about $79,000, but with a few things added to it, I think the price is getting quite steep. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.